The Evanston Red Devils took to the pitch for the first time this weekend in a pair of non-conference preseason games at the Todd Malonick Soccer Festival in Green River. Evanston took on Laramie on Friday on a blustery, chilly afternoon. Let's start with the girls as Coach Carlin Barton returns a team a little short on experience but is still packed with talent. Into the second minute of the first half, Evanston is called for a handball in the box and that sets up a penalty shot for Laramie's junior, Allison Beeston, which she sneaks into the upper right corner to give the lead to Laramie 1-0. 16 minutes later with 22 minutes left in the first forward, Mercedes Garcia gets Evanston keeper Emily Sawyer on the turf and slides it into the net. Double the lead for Laramie 2-0 where we would go into the locker room. Evanston comes out strong in the second half defensively but in the 13th minute a through ball finds Garcia as she goes on the run and gets her second goal of the game. The Red Devils create some opportunities late but are unable to get the ball past McKenna Barham and we have our final score Laramie 3 Evanston nil. Ladies play south in the Saturday game but fall in a nail biter losing 2-1 to one in PKs Evanston's goal came from Kinley Hintzy Coach Barton and the girls see a lot of positives and look to build off of those positives as they get ready for the conference season. Now on to the boys where all thoughts go to that state consolation semifinal where Laramie snuck by the Red Devils 2-1 but some early season injuries definitely changes the complexion a little bit of this preseason match as both Curtis Richens and David Perez are out for this weekend. Evanston looks good in the first but the scoring opens with an own goal in the eighth minute. The Plainsmen picked up some confidence and Here's Landon Wisenhunt in the 16th minute from way outside to send a grounder past keeper Omar Burgos, and it's 2-0 Laramie. Shortly after, Laramie starts to pour it on off of an offensive rebound. Faber Thomas makes it 3-0. What a shot. And Laramie would get one more before the locker room when freshman Sammy Haney takes the ball off of a freak accident. Check this out. Omar kicks it up like he should, but it goes off the back of a Laramie player. Haney takes full advantage of the position and buries it in the back of the net. 4 nothing, Laramie at the half. Laramie continues to apply pressure but can't convert, leaving the door open for the real Red Devils team to stand up. Check out this sliding save by Omar Burgos. What a play there. And that's not the last of the great defense. Keep your eye there on number 11, Logan Garfius. They call him Chaka. Says, not in my house. Great job there by Garfius. The second half really did belong to the Red Devils as they have opportunities to cash in against goalkeeper Rife Ethan. Red Devils set up well here but just a touch too hard and it's still 4-0 Laramie and that leads us to what was the most jaw-dropping play of the game. Late in the second half this one is unfortunately out of reach but the Red Devils continue to show that Evanston fight. Laramie's favorite Thomas looking for a second goal of the game and to make it 5-0 he has the right corner but Omar dives and punches it away. Great play by the first time goalkeeper Omar Burgos. Unfortunately that 4-0 start from Laramie was a hill too far and the Red Devils fall in their pre season opener by that final score but a lot of good to build on as they would rebound with a 6-0 victory over South the Red Devils boys and girls soccer teams start the conference season Thursday March 24th at Natrona County girls kick off at 4 and the boys at 6 tune into our pregame show at 3:30 live on mylocalradio.com a big thank you to all of our sponsors we would not be able to do this without them Trona Valley Federal Credit Union Varsity Inc Mountain West Business Solution Walmart Down Home Eatery Rocky Mountain Yeti Freeway Tire, Ivory and Iron, West Star Printing, and Rocky Mountain Sign, Ellingford Brothers, The Lumberyard, T-Bar Body Shop, Western Wyoming Community College, and Uinta Bosis, Bear River Dental, Best Western Dunmar Inn and Legal Tender Restaurant, Uinta County School District Number 1, University of Wyoming, First American Title, Hoover Chiropractic, The Come On In and Casper, Dr. McKay Frankham, Piano with Mindy K, MyLocalRadio.com, Les Schwab's Plains Tire, El Paso All-American and Mexican Restaurant, Uinta Eye and Vision, and Will Barker Red Castle Wealth Management. Go out and patron these Red Devil supporting businesses, and we will see you live from Natrona County on Thursday.